Welcome! Such a beautiful autumn afternoon and today is just a perfect opportunity to go out, use some crayfish imitation and target big perch. First stop. So what is it that we're looking for exactly? Well, we're looking for some steeper banks with rocky bottom because that's where the crayfish like to hang out. And this is a pretty deep sound. It's about 10 meters deep. There's also some bait fish here uh, in the deep parts. And uh, the perch, when the water gets colder, they tend to stand more on the bottom. And that's when the crayfish is at its most effective. When these perch are a little bit slow and you just drag this little crayfish just in front of them, then they just can resist it and they will take it. Fishing a crayfish imitation is simple. I mostly go with a regular jig head and uh, I like the more heavier ones because that really pins the bait down to the bottom. The heavier head, it also whirls up a lot of dust, makes a lot of sound and commotion, makes it easy for the perch to find the bait. And then I use a pretty stiff, short bait caster combo because that gives me a good feeling uh, when I'm pulling this bait towards me. And when I make a cast, I let it sink to the bottom and then I will just retrieve it with short taps with a rod, just like this, short taps. And I really concentrate on keeping this bait on the bottom. And uh, if this is a place where the perch are just standing around being pretty slow at the moment, and this little crayfish just come crawling by, they're not going to resist it. They are going to take it. So. This is not a power lure that you fish like big stretches of the bank with. This is more of a precise lure that you fish like points, pinnacles, certain smaller areas. And you really want to tempt this slow perch to take the bait. I haven't had any bite so far, but uh, I'm going to shift head. I'm going to try an even heavier head. This is a 25 gram head and it creates a lot of commotion on the bottom and sometimes these really heavy heads, they work pretty well. Got one. Okay, two perch in two costs. This greenish color with a heavier head, it really works. And this is a super beautiful perch. Nice strike. Super hard strike. Ah, uh, this is a perch. This might be a really decent perch. Or is it a pike? It's almost too strong. Oh, it's a super, super big perch. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. And you can see that's, that this perch, it really inhaled this little cray. What a perch beauty, and it's so fun to catch them on a cray. When it comes to colors, there's one color that I really like, and it is this green one. The green one, it works well in both clear and murky water. It works well during the dark or uh, bright skies. And as a compliment, I also tend to use something a little bit more fancy, like this brown red one. I think it's a good compliment. And most of the time I throw the larger sizes of these crayfish imitations because perch that hunt cray, they want to eat the big crays because they uh, are a big chunk of uh, food for them. They get a lot of en energy from them and they're not, they don't hesitate to take bigger baits. If you look at the contours of the land, like there's some mountain here, there's a lot of rocks and the most of the time, uh, something like this, it continues down into the water. So if you don't have a sonar, 
just look at the land, try to find this rocky slope. If you have a good looking area and it turns out that you don't catch a single perch of it, even though the structure may look great, maybe there's some bait fish there, but you don't even get a nibble, then you can always return to the same spot, fish it once again, maybe three or even four times in the same day, because the perch, they tend to move up and forth on these sort of structures, especially in autumn. And when the water gets colder, uh, the perch also get more and more inactive. They have per periods where they don't eat at all and they sit on the bottom. So sometimes you get to go back and forth on these places a couple of times before the perch get into feeding mode. So don't give up on your spots, uh, even though you don't catch anything, Adam. Uh, at your first stop during the day. I'm hooked up and this is something massive. It's definitely not a perch. It's definitely not a perch, but it might be a pike or sander or even a burbot. There is burbot in this lake. It's super heavy. Oh, it is a burbot. That's pretty awesome. Okay, burbot, come here. The burbot don't get any sharp teeth, so you can just take it with your thumb like this. And this is actually one of my favorite fishes in the lake. Just look at the burbot. Isn't it a super cool fish? I just love it. Nice strike, super nice perch strike on the craw. I think this is a decent one. Wow, what a big fish. This is a super healthy perch. Oh, <laughs> this is a big one. This, it's actually look a lot like a football. That's a pretty cool fish, isn't it? And this is a crayfish eater. This is definitely a crayfish eater. Oh, wow, this is a healthy perch. Just look at the colors. And you can see on top of the head that uh, the slime is a bit murky. And I think that they get this murky sort of uh, skull when they go around and uh, bump their heads into the bottom when they're hunting for crayfish. She was about 43 centimeters long. And there she go. One important thing about these crayfish imitations is that they work even though there may not be any crayfish in the water. Like if you're fishing brackish water in the archipelago or you're fishing lakes without any crayfish at all, you will still catch perch on these crayfish imitations because they just get so curious when something crawls around on the bottom and have these like claws that are floating and tentacles that are swirling around. But uh, I would say even though that they work in the areas that don't have crayfish, they are at their absolute best in lakes such as these where crayfish is a part of their main forage. It's getting quite dark. The sun is starting to set, so I guess this is it for today. But it was a very pl pleasant afternoon session. And uh, if you're curious about learning something new in perch fishing and you haven't tried crayfish imitations, then I bet that's the next thing you should pick up because once you start getting the hang of this, you'll catch a lot of perch, you get massive perch and it's also a very fun way to fish them. It's hard strikes and um, yeah, it's something a little bit different from fishing soft baits or hard baits higher up into the water column. It's very special and it's very fun. So until next time, see you around guys.